So, Ray Palpatine. That's a thing people still think could happen for whatever reason. Yeah, you'd think with how much I tear into the Ray Skywalker theory, that would be my least favorite one. Nope, I hate this one so much more than Ray Skywalker. Ray Skywalker is actually interesting to talk about because there's a lot to rip into. Ray Palpatine, not so much. There's hardly anything to it. And I think that's why I hate it so much. It's a theory that a lot of people really like and really think could happen, but there's nothing to support it. Right? I've seen a few things like, you know, musical motifs being similar, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know if, if you've heard of the YouTube channel Vlog Brothers, Hank Green on there does a great job breaking down this one chord progression that appears in multiple genres of music. So, you know, the same thing can apply to the Star Wars music, you know, some uh, progressions, riffs, whatever could be similar across songs simply because it sounds good. You know, not every single musical element has to be symbolic. You know, I, I, I'm an artist, you know, sometimes I make things look a certain way just because it looks good, not because it means anything in particular. You know, sometimes you gotta make something pretty. <laughs> it's not a very satisfying point to make, but, you know, it's true. You know, sometimes you just gotta do it for the aesthetic. But, you know, th that's just such a weak argument to go off of similar musical themes. And I looked at the breakdown, it didn't really look all that similar. Some of the rhythms were similar, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not a musical expert by any means, but... <sighs> I don't know. I, I think they're making a mountain out of a molehill with that one. And it's not even likely to happen. I don't even see how it would be how it would be possible. I mean, Palpatine died with no known progeny. You know, so how they're gonna make that connection between Ray and Palpatine is way beyond me. Apparently in the old EU he had you know, he had lovers, he had children. I guess. But, you know, that's the old EU. That's not the current canon. And <laughs> I have seen it argued that Ray could be a clone of Palpatine. Considering the fact that Jessica Henwick was a runner-up to play Ray, and the fact that Ray was colorblind casted, I'm gonna have to say hell fucking no to any theory that involves cloning, because it's just not... <laughs> it doesn't fucking work like that. I mean, yeah, the Force is a thing, but, you know, I'm pretty sure genetics is also a thing. So, I don't know. If your theory depends on cloning in any capacity, it's not gonna work. And, I mean, all of that aside, the thing that I want to focus on the most is storytelling. You know, what would it mean for the story? I've seen it argued where it would be interesting to see a Palpatine take down the evil in the galaxy that, Pal that Emperor Palpatine kind of foster in the first place. And I'm just like, why? Why would that be interesting to see? You know, Palpatine hasn't done anything to warrant a redemption. You know, he's not like Darth Vader who loved his family so much and that's the reason he went dark and that same love is what brought him back to the light. And I mean, even Kylo Ren has a greater chance at redemption. You know, he immediately regretted killing Han Solo and he's been accused of having compassion for Rey, you know, there is still light inside him. 
You want to know what the Star Wars database says about Palpatine? Shaming, powerful, and evil to the core. That does not sound like a sympathetic character. That does not sound like a redeemable character. There's nothing to Palpatine's character in this current canon that suggests that he's worthy of redemption, either for himself or for his family. You know, you might think it's cool, but on the surface, you know, it, on the surface, it might seem cool. Even then, you, you, you gotta be really squinting to see anything cool in that. But you know, when you dig deeper, it's kind of like nothing there is earned. You know, there's nothing earned there for Palpatine, you know, it's just given to him and his family, assuming he even has one. You know? There's just too many ifs with that element. And then there's this whole, you know, child who was born in the light and turned dark, facing off against this child who was born in the dark and turned light. I'm going to tell you something right now. Whether you're talking about someone being born in the light or born in the dark, it's bullshit. All right. To me, anyways, it's complete bullshit. I am one of those people who believes that human beings are born with the capacity to be good and the capacity to be evil. You know, it's not, you know, all one, none of the other. I believe that both is present in every single human being and we have to try to be good. We have to try to be bad, you know. <laughs> And I mean, why, why wouldn't I apply my own life philosophy to Star Wars, you know? To me, that's something that actually really makes sense. So why wouldn't it make sense in this fictional universe? And <laughs> honestly, I think that's way more compelling, you know? You're not good or bad because of how you were born. You're good or bad based on the choices that you make. Palpatine made a lot of really bad choices. And that's how he became a Sith Lord. That's why he was so fucking evil. That's why he's probably burning in the Force version of hell. I don't know if... I, I don't know what the eschatology there is, but, you know... Whatever. You know, Anakin, he made a lot of bad choices. That's how he became Vader. But then he made good choices and became Anakin again. Kylo Ren, he made a lot of really bad choices. He made good choices for the first 23 years of his life, then something happened, and he started making bad choices. And we're starting to see him make a few good choices again, which is, you know, it's awesome, because... In case you can't tell, I'm kind of hoping for a Kylo Ren redemption arc, but I'll get to that at a later time. Rey. She didn't really get to make choices up until The Force Awakens. The only choice she got to make was to survive. And, you know, she made choices to survive for about 14, 15 years. Then she made the choice not to sell BB-8 which was counterproductive to her survival. That was one of her first choices in the light, you know? She chose not to sell BB-8 for 60 portions. She, she chose to help BB-8 and Finn get off of Jakku. She chose to help get BB-8 to the Resistance. She chose to run away from the hero's journey. Then she got captured by Kylo Ren. She chose to escape, which, you know, kind of goes back to survival. She chose to accept the hero's journey after Han died and Finn was injured, and then she chose to seek out Luke. Rey made good choices, regardless of her upbringing. You know, regardless of how she was born, she made good choices in The Force Awakens, and that's what matters. You know, what matters is... Ray is a person who makes good choices. You know, she is being true to herself in making these choices and, you know, becoming the hero of this trilogy. Becoming a hero of this trilogy, I should say. 
You know, I, I don't give a shit if Ray had dark side parents, but frankly, you know, I don't think, I mean, yeah, it, it really doesn't matter if her parents are dark side or light side. Frankly, I don't think they had any sort of force affiliation, to be completely honest. But I mean, like I said, I'll get to that later. You know, and the idea of Kylo Ren being born in the light. I mean, let's not forget, Anakin was already pretty much on his way to becoming Vader when Luke and Leia were conceived. You know, watch the Clone Wars, there's some pretty dark shit in there. I can't tell you how many times a toned down version of the Imperial March plays in the Clone Wars. You know, Anakin made a lot of really bad choices there, too. So, you know, if, if, if you want to pretend that shit's genetic anyways, I guess it was already in Luke and Leia. And then, you know, Leia passed that on, I guess. I mean, he grew up with Snoke's influence. I, I can't even say he was born in the light because he did grow up with Snoke's influence. It may not be outright stated. You know, there are a lot of hints in Empire's End, and at, some, at a certain point you gotta put two and two together, you know? At least that's how I put two and two together. It's my speculation, it's not really confirmed. Once again, I'll get to that later, but, you know, there's reason to believe that he was born with Snoke breathing down his neck, so I can't, so you can't even really say he was born in the light. You know, that light side, dark side bullshit isn't genetic. Like I said, it's the choices you make. And uh, so, you know, the whole Ray being born in the dark and becoming light and Kylo Ren being born in the light and becoming dark, it doesn't make any sense. It's not narratively compelling. It's so incredibly reductive and it's just... It's boring. If I haven't if I haven't said that before, it's boring. That gosh. Just, you know, that that kind of parallelism. I don't know. It's not good. It it's it's not a good parallel, if you ask me. And I mean once you strip those elements away what do you have? You pretty much have glorified fan fiction with the whole Ray Palpatine thing. Not that there's anything wrong with fan fiction, but you know, when you're trying to apply it to canon, it doesn't work. Ray Palpatine does not work on a logical level, and it doesn't work on a narrative level. You can support whatever the hell you want. I highly doubt I'm going to change anyone's mind with this video, but I'm trying to give you something to think about. I love analyzing these characters. I love analyzing the story. That's why I'm doing this because it's, you know, it's interesting to me. And I hope it's interesting to the people who watch these videos. I'm not, I'm really not trying to convince anyone of anything. I'm just trying to give people something to think about, you know, a new, a new point of view, if you will. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Please comment down below. Please let me think. I do read my comments and I, I really enjoy what you guys have to say. And if you like, if you like what you've seen here, and you've liked my other videos, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.